X-rays are part of the electromagnetic spectrum and have a wavelength of about the diameter of an atom. Because of this small wavelength, they are able to penetrate healthy tissue but are absorbed by denser material like bone and metal. They also affect photographic film or CCDs in digital cameras in the same way as light, which is why they are used to diagnose bone fractures or dental problems. The X-rays pass through healthy tissue turning the image black, and the light regions are where the X-rays were absorbed, like your bones or a nasty big tumour. CT scans also use X-rays but they take images from multiple directions building up a 3D image of the patient inside. This gives the doctor a much more detailed view of the problem. X-rays are known as ionizing radiation, which means they can damage the DNA in cells causing mutations and potentially cancer. High doses of X-rays however can be used to kill cancerous cells and is used in radiotherapy. So I'm sure you'd agree finding the right amount of exposure is crucial. This is especially important to radiographers as they could be exposed to lethal doses of x-rays over the years. They always stand behind lead screens or even leave the room when you're being scanned to reduce the risks to them. Don't let me scare you the next time you go for an x-ray though. You can get exposed to more radiation on a flight from London to New York from the background radiation left over from the Big Bang.